Chinese internet users have called for a boycott of H&M because it won't use cotton from Xinjiang. Western nations accuse China of sending as many as one million Muslim Uyghurs to internment camps in Xinjiang and forcing them to work. To break it all down for us, Bloomberg's Philip Glamman joins us from Beijing. Hi, Philip. Tell us how all of this came about. Internet users in China um, on Chinese social media platform Weibo started a campaign to boycott H&M because uh, they found a statement that said H&M wouldn't use cotton from Xinjiang anymore. And this is a very touchy uh, subject in, uh, in China. Xinjiang is, is sort of a, become a very controversial story. Western governments, including the US, accuse China of, of using forced labor in Xinjiang and, and, and turning about a million people in, in camps and forcing them to work. And what impact has this had on H&M? H&M yesterday saw its shares fall 1.9% in Stockholm, and um, investors will be watching today to see, you know, if it uh, if it slides um, yet again. And how has H&M responded to this? Uh, H&M China uh, put out a statement last night saying that um, this is a sustainability issue for its supply chain. It's not a political statement or anything, and that's going to be a sort of a, a question that a lot of companies are going to have to answer here sort of in the future. Do you think other companies may now follow suit and start to change their operations because of human rights violations? Yeah, um, other other companies are definitely going to have to sort of deal with this. China has grand plans for Xinjiang. It, it produces a lot of cotton. China wants uh, to get more out of Xinjiang. Just recently, Apple had to cut ties with a, a Chinese supplier called Ofilm um, because it, it was apparently involved in a, a work uh, uh, transfer program that saw Uyghurs from, from Xinjiang move to other parts of, of China for work. And there were questions as to whether this was a, uh, you know, they were being forced to do this. And so, you know, Apple had to, had to cut ties. And, um, and you'll see other companies, Nike um, with the cotton, they'll have to sort of uh, make a decision. Do they please their, their home audience or do they cooperate with uh, the rules that China lays down? So it'll be a, a, a tough question for, for companies to answer. All right. Thanks so much. That's Bloomberg's Philip Glamman in Beijing.